Well, good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. The ultra-modern home of Arsenal, a symbol of their class, their timeless sophistication. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a uh, 4-3-3. Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. And as you can see, we've already started here. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Bernd Leno. I think his presence might make all the difference for this team. He's got lightning-fast reactions and uh, a coolness under pressure that allows him to make the big one-on-one -on -one saves. He's also very reliable under the high ball or when he's dealing with crosses, and I'd expect the whole defence to play with a bit more assurance with him in place. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Piate has been found. Timely intervention. Saka. Ceballos. Saha. He's got through. Now it's Ayu. Townsend hits it! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Crystal Palace with an early lead. Good start. And here's Aubameyang. Aubameyang really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Granit Xhaka. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Milivojevic. Granit Xhaka. Well, it's a scoreline. Ozil has got himself a free kick. And here's Aubameyang. He's come loose. Ceballos. Dan with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. And it's David Luiz. Tries a shot! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Piate. Right through the middle. He's got a... Oh, oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. That was created because of... Good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Hector Bellerin. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. He's in space and looking for option. Up to meet it! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Tompkins. And it's Townsend. Are you? It's one! It's a goal! And with that goal comes comfort. 
effort. What about that, Jim Beglin? That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball, and it all came good. So that's two now without reply. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Zaha, Ayu. Oh, it's a fine challenge, and it goes his way. And here's Ayu. And the finish! No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a needle the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Tried to play it through. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Foot in. Dan with the foul. Taha. And it's played forward, face to face with the keep. Shot a goal! Granit Xhaka. That has put a stop to that. Keeper's got good distance on that. Saka. Tierney. Milivojevic. Kiate plays it forward. <laughs> Mesut Ozil. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Has a pop! <laughs> and the referee brings the first half to a close. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Crystal Palace, three goals to the good after a really excellent first half that's been intriguing to watch. Plenty of highlights to show you during the break. And we're already back on the way here. No changes at half-time that we're aware of. Mustafi gets it back. Saka. Mustafi. Oh, terrible pass. Dan. Patrick van Arnholt. Dan. Tompkins. Kuyate, Milivojevic, MacArthur. Kebayos, Granit Xhaka, Kebayos, Tierney desperately wants to get on the end of this. Hector Bellerin. The referee's awarded a free kick. He's 
just there to cut it out. What a throw in. Mesut Ozil. He's gone for it! Keeper gets just about enough of it. Well, they're being made to force the issue, but they need to be patient and, and a little more composed. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right. He couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. And here's Aubameyang. Saha. Good ball. And he heaves it forward. Arsenal have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Talk about singling someone out. Well, his stealth has been compromised because of his goal, and his treatment from here looks as if it could get a little tighter. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. That was always inevitable. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Tierney, looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Milivojevic tries to get it forward quickly. He's played him through. Townsend. Going through, it's Townsend! He's put it wide. Crystal Palace know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning. And that's clear cut, it's a free kick. Keeper sends it forward. He's left his back, hits one! It was good defensive pressure to give him less manoeuvring room. Patrick van Arnholt. Got a throw in. And here's Saha. And here's Ayu. Ayu battles to win it back. Mesut Ozil. Kebayos. Chambers looks to get on the end of this. Kebayos. Mesut Ozil. And here's Opa. He's had a go! Milivojevic, Lukaku, and it's Saha, and here's Ayu, and the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Leno sends that a long way. Whistle goes again, it's another offside decision.
And that's put paid to a promising move. Going back to the keeper. Leno gets it upfield. Defending was strong and firm. Ceballos drives it forward. Oh, the ball's come. Whistle's gone. That's a foul. Ozil! And that's past the post. This official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Tompkins. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. And a great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. If you look back on the game then, Jim. Well, I have to admit, Peter, that I had this marked down as a, a draw at best, but their tactical approach and industry was superb.